right, today in chemistry we're going to talk about how to calculate molar mass, how many grams per one mole is in a substance. So what we're going to do first, use an example, this is calcium phosphate. So the first thing that we need to do to calculate molar mass is figure out which types of atoms we have in the compound and how many. So for example, if I look at calcium phosphate, the subscript 3 tells me that there's three calcium atoms. So for calcium, that's going to be three calcium atoms times the molar mass of calcium. If you refer to your periodic table, you'll find that each calcium mole weighs 40.08 grams, but we have that three times. Okay, when we do this out, we have three times 40.08. That's going to contribute 120. 0.24 grams into the compound. Okay. Next, we have a phosphate ion here, PO4. But we have to keep in mind that we have two of those. So we have to distribute this two to the four and to the one, understood. So phosphorus, we have two phosphorus times its molar mass. And the periodic table says that phosphorus is 31 grams. So that's going to be 2 times 31, and that's going to contribute 62 grams to the total mass of the compound. And finally, our last atom here is oxygen. And within the compound, there's 2 times 4 is 8. So that's going to get us 8 oxygens, each one weighing in roughly around 16 grams. which is going to be 128 grams. Okay, to sort of backtrack here, 120.24 grams is from the calcium, 62 grams is from the phosphorus that make up the compound, and finally, 128 grams is from the oxygen. So what we have to simply do here is add up these totals here, One twenty point two four plus sixty two plus one hundred twenty eight grams, and that's going to get us in the ballpark of three hundred ten point two four grams. So we conclude at the end of this is that one mole of calcium phosphate is three hundred and ten point two four grams, and that's how you calculate molar mass.